All right, so uh, this will be slightly unusual session as we're gonna be handling two different things. Uh, one is obviously the encounter we started last session, and second is uh, kind of getting at least part of the party back together, plus incorporating a new person uh, into the party. So to maybe give context to those that weren't here uh, before, uh, record scratch, you might have been wondering how the party found themselves in here. So, the idea is that last session, uh, the group decided to investigate uh, a string of killings with their victims having their uh, faces uh, torn off. And through good um, investigation, I realized I didn't put a fucking music on this shit. Good bit of investigation uh, and going with the idea that they're gonna bait out the assailant. Uh, they've managed to do it and the creature, which as it was found out, is called the Faceless Butcher, a Faceless Butcher, uh, attacked Anders and pretty much got him to bloodied state in the initial uh, strike. That was a hell of an alpha strike. Yes, indeed. Uh, now, the rest of the party was in the works, in the back, uh, trying to assist, obviously, the, sadly, the creature stealth abilities and skill was proven too much for the perception. <clears throat> My idea is that the basically to not <coughs> angle things to too much time wise that uh, essentially Tetric and our new party member will be getting in pretty much arriving on the map as the fight is going on. We'll see for how long this fight will go because the creature is not stupid. I will say that much. But before we get to that point, uh, yes, uh, someone wanted to ask a question? Mm -hmm. Or no? Sorry, I really? thought some. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I think uh, <coughs> the question. Another question, but <coughs> simple. If you can give the party and us uh, like a short introduction to your character who are you playing give me one second i forgot to put in a uh, my spell uh, amount uh You're like a few bits, I should say, because I was worried more about getting the sheet done. Uh, I have a rough idea, but I didn't get a chance to write it down on paper yet. I mean, just like, for example, like, Plus, like, ah, uh, uh, like species and pretty much, uh, Ross Dragon that is a a hybrid kind of a wizard and a witch. Yeah, hi. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's also gonna be interesting because uh, as a not really a spoiler, but information. <laughs> Uh, the second, technically, like, the main task that the party received as a quest for assistance was dealing with a hack coven that is operating somewhere nearby and has been causing troubles for for this town. Uh... Uh, 
as, as a reminder, because I, I did notice that you put an H to your character. Uh, that's alright. The general vibe idea was that uh, essentially, you know, Frost Strikes, Giant Trolls were like brought back after uh, suffering a nasty warrant, dying wholesale. And you were just one of those souls that were brought back. Also, I, I believe it's been stated uh, because of certain spell in one of the past sessions that at least for two characters, the, the thing they fear the most, they, they had this vision of a certain cavalier uh, <laughs> smacking them down. Yeah, yeah. Through, through terror. Um... Hey, you get, you get a cavalier that killed a thousand mice and then come attack you. Mm. <laughs> Uh -huh. right. uh, so if you need like a few more moments in full, uh, we can go with this uh, encounter and when you are good to go, we can put you in. Oh yeah, I, I figured it'd be better off my character out of, uh, out of combat so it gives me a chance to finish up things. Alright, but uh, that trick will find himself uh, present. And I mean, I'm fine with either option because on one hand, I did play it off uh, last time that Tetrick was busy with his like downtime activities and uh, doing um, busy book bookkeeping in the capital. Mm. Uh, but I'm fine with changing that, that he basically was accompanying the party, but... No, but I mean, no. better that he's, that he's part of the actual session, right? I mean, let's he, just say, I mean, he let's would... Let's just say he got a message or something and he, ended up chasing after us. Yeah, he would mm -hmm. be, because that was the other option that he basically arrived just in time. Because he started a little while later, going out of the... Uh, city and he's just arriving yeah. just in time as the combat is exactly. starting. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a better plan. Yeah, I, I like that he was doing uh, his whole thing, but then he got a message and fucking hell. <coughs> just go along now. Okay. All right, let me put everyone in combat state. And yeah, I didn't bother because that's there's a specific perspective on this map, so I didn't really bother with putting uh, walls. Uh, but obviously, if you see a house, then that's not really something you can just go through. I mean, let me rephrase that. Considering your size and strength, you probably will be able to go through, but... It's unadvised. Um... You probably want, may, may, might want to consider collateral damage. Uh, we are here on a diplomatic mission, after all. <laughs> mm. Speaking of which town is this, which area? Oh, right. Uh, I'm just gonna put you for a second. Come on, load you piece of crap. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you are in the 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 border town between the Northlands and everything else, the South. Okay. Yeah, just yeah, wanted time. to know about where we were. Okay, well, let's get some initiative rolled. Uh, yeah. The combat carousel. Let's see how it goes. Nat one. Oh, well, I mean, we're starting off on a good start. Yeah, that's a <laughs> good begin.
<clears throat> right. Uh, I'm gonna roll for Helgandru. I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna use the most basic combo, which is True Strike and uh, the Magnetic Acceleration. <laughs> bang, bang. Mm. Oh, what a bastard! <laughs> Right. <coughs> so, uh, to just give you explanation to you, Tetric, you'll be just arriving, coming from the side alley, just squeezing between the houses, looking at your comrades uh, just ahead of you, and uh, that their master stands, they are just preparing to engage into combat, and of course you hear a uh, uh, flash and a spray of blood coming from further down this alley. So let us begin the encounter. Okay, how are we gonna, we're gonna fly up? Actually, no, because then we'll do the thing. Uh, gonna do the thing with uh, true strike. I mean, sh sorry, sure strike. And then magnetic acceleration. Uh, oh, it didn't. Oh, right, because I didn't apply the. Yeah. Right, and I think now it should give me the. Yep, now it does. That's what. Right, and the ma the the projectile finds its target and strikes uh, true. Um, however, it's not a critical hit. Rolling. Uh, can you hear us now, Adam? Oh, no. Okay. Rip. Uh, right, I didn't. However, you would, you would realize that the creature seems to be uh, resistant to at least one type of damage. Haha. <laughs> I should have unpaused. All right, <clears throat> and because that was three actions, uh, gonna be the butcher's turn. Which now uh, its form has dropped, and it's now its ugly visage is staring uh, straight at you. Which I need to remind myself. Ah, oh, that first enters the area, so never mind. And seeing that its prey is actually not alone, uh, on one hand, on the other, being able to act quickly and think how can it can carve into its prey, uh, it's going to. It's going for more cleaver strikes. Ha ha! This probably gonna hurt. I want to present pepperoni, pepperoni. Who? Welcome back. There is this car working for you? Are you alive, Lab? Second attack. Hello. Right. Oh, hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> hey, I can speak again. 
Shit. Uh. Donut's clearly not very happy about you being able to speak. Very rude of him. Mm. And now, my question is, it after those two attacks, are I you still very, up? I feel it was very similar to the... Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, uh, I guess we, we, we say goodbye to Anders getting Merc. Saying, uh, pepperoni, pepperoni. saying hmm? it's prey so close and fighting against its urge to run away from other uh, targets uh, is gonna make its last uh, uh, cleaver attack. Uh, oh, I didn't target. Uh, which I think it's a miss. that misses. It's a miss. <laughs> Impossible. How could it happen? Go. All right. So feeling <laughs> pain all across your body, bleeding for multiple slashing wounds that that were just given to you. You are not dead. You are still conscious, barely, but you now have a chance to to act. Yeah, I did a quick bit of mental. Math said, I was like, holy fuck, I've got one HP. <laughs> and a nice. dream. <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, five foot step, I think, away. Uh, and then cast uh, the two action version of this. <laughs> mm, I think that you use the. Wait, was it guarded step in the system? Yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's step. It's. It's, it's five foot step. Don't lie yeah, to yourself. It's. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's literally just. It, it's. Uh, I don't have it. Yeah, give me a second. I, I mostly asked just to be sure because of. I, because of yeah. course that creature has that. Yeah, but that is exactly why I am. Uh, I am doing this. <laughs> yeah, that's. That's good. And then yeah, I'm casting this. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's a really bad roll as well. Eh. Fuck. Uh, that's my turn. Eh. Alright. Patrick, you're just right from the field and you can... Definitely see that one of your comrades is having... A jolly good time. Mm. Trouble. Uh, I'm forgetting, remind me, Tedrick was present when Anders joined the party, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Already off to a bad start. Um, AS arrow. Uh, well, to attack, I guess. Yep. Miss. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Damn. All right. Um. Oh, where's my uh Mercury? Oh, no, I forgot to put your token in. Uh, right. the, the token of your pet in. Yeah. Thank <coughs> you. I'm gonna send that guy uh to to, to move. That's which is. That far. <laughs> Amazing. That is my turn, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's do a little bit of a funny, shall we? Mm. <laughs> ah, the dragoon. Uh -huh. uh, as Kurzel leaps over the nearby building, it comes fucking slamming straight down. Mm. Alright, let me make the safe. Mm -hmm. Alright. Which is gonna be like half damage, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. There we go. And then we 
right. Unfortunately, that's a miss. That's me. Uh, just quickly, actually, is that miss with the off guard from flanking? Because I don't think that it's counting. That still would be a miss. Ooh. We need at least a four, a 14 with flanking. Um, I don't uh, know. Hell might do it with flanking. Mm. Yeah, it may be AC 30. Maybe. Let's hope for the best. That's my turn. Right. Uh... Obviously, like, don't know if you have, like, better ideas for using Hellgunner, but I'm thinking True Strike, Magnetic Acceleration again. That's why the Rewa's was using a lot of the time, I mean, so I'm yeah, like... It's good for a reason, so why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for damage. You can also throw out, I mean, hey, he has to be pretty close for actually, so... So, do you want to go for a haste, or... I mean, it would require Heather Gardner getting closer, but yeah, I mean, there is options, but yeah. It's just pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. All right, so one action, Heather Gunner is going to come up closer, which like that would work. Yeah, 50 movement, uh, flying speed. Oh, also, I forgot, uh, because Scurzel entered the aura yeah uh, with anders it was not exactly rules has written it didn't really trigger uh but now that kurzel entered its uh, aura of frightful presence but first enters the area so in the meantime you can make the will save and hell gander is gonna cast uh Will. Mm. Uh, so should both myself and uh, Sledge Julius be making the will saves? And... Uh, Julius, work. yes. Like that's why I like was confusing to me because the frightful presence didn't trigger when it ambushed you because it still had the change shape. Uh, okay. Uh, so like when it dropped it, you were already like in. Oh, okay. Basically, that sentence that a creature that first enters the area is like kind of wacky, mm -hmm. like Rosa's written, I suppose. Okay, that's a failure. Uh, okay. I've applied it already. All mm -hmm. right. And for haste, mm -hmm. uh, who wants it more? Because that's only one target. Uh, I think it's good on either myself or Curzel. I don't think there's a big... I mean, both are really good, just... Yeah. Give it on Curzel, since Anders might just die. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's another big thing. <laughs> Alright, taste applied. Mm, nice. And that was its reduction. Alright. Uh, that's... Well... It was going to escape into that dark alleyway, but now Kurzel is in its path. That was the plan. Hmm. However, seeing that you do not have a good of a time hitting it, uh, this is like a hardy, sturdy target, despite its form. There are clearly mm, yeah. more nefarious powers at work here. Whatever made this creature ensure that it is quite a potent opponent. <laughs> and let me see, how intelligent is it? I mean, it has relatively higher wisdom, so... Mm. It just so Anders, like killing himself so mm -hmm. go ahead well kill the medic first uh my feet step us off one action and then uh, two attacks with its cleaver the cleaver cells is like a mundane weapon, but the power it strikes with is immense. Mm -hmm. 
the second action and then uh, third. All right. <laughs> Get the second attack. Stop creative, please. <laughs> oh my god. Pepperoni, pepperoni, under the rooney. Okay, so damage that, and then. What? 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 And because it's ready, I go to dying two. Uh, and then my place in the initiative order is. Right before the. Yeah, to before the, the creature. The creature. All right. Uh, hold on. I need to like do it here. Yeah, it's to try and it's to allow the players to not die as soon as it gives a little bit more time for the character to survive. Yep, that's understandable, and that was its action. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I should have joined this fight. <laughs> I mean, as I said, I'm just waiting for your signal that you are ready and good to go. Don't worry, if I, if I don't, I'll, I'll roll up another character, it's fine. Uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> 60 feet away from me. How big an area is this? 10 foot burst. Probably shouldn't do that. That would indeed hit, at least. Myself. <laughs> and the yeah. or Kurzel and the Butcher. <laughs> mm. Oh, as a remind or partially reminder, partially deciding that because you are like holding this creature in and actually trying to deal with this issue right now instead of like uh, allowing it to escape or like getting into a chase scene. Everyone starts with two hero points. Usually you start with one for the session. Where? But you are engaged in a quite a All deadly right. combat. I've got to step forward a little bit. It's hard to do with this. Yep. All right. What? I'm gonna cast the hydrate. Alright, let me make that save. I'm gonna put it this way, it just equaled. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, no additional effect, but still takes the damage. Yep. Ah, so the persistent thingy. And because I moved and then casted, I believe, a two spell thing. Oh. The hydrate, that. yes, it is two spell thing. That's all yep. three of your actions. Yep. So, end of turn. And a quick question. Uh, I just need to. Does either your thing or Kurzel, does your thing like stays as a difficult terrain or just like one and done effect? Kurzel's thingy. Uh, yeah. it's, it's just a 10 foot burst of damage. Um, yeah, but it's it doesn't time. like... Uh... No, he slams down an explosion but doesn't actually break anything. Right, so I'm gonna... Mm. Mm. Uh, well, 5 foot step. I might as well just toss everything, I guess. Roll me a DC 22 basic reflex save. Take 29 damage. Well, that's me trying to do stuff. That's my turn. Mm. Uh, from haste? Oh, yes, I do still have a haste attack. Let's go. Uh... Miss, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh. 
Mm, let's see, it. does Helugandr has anything that... That can help? I mean, obviously no healing, but... Uh, there's invisibility... Uh, Nervation, but you already noticed that this is a hard default, like their fortitude is out of whack. If you hit them with piercing or slashing, I can put persistent acid damage on them. Possibly. Mm. I mean, technically, magnetic acceleration also deals bludgeoning and piercing. So, oh. can go with that. Okay. Brine Dragon Bile. On the schmuck. I mean, that's the reaction. Yeah. Alright, missed. <laughs> oh, right. Because you, you have that thing? <laughs> Right, so, as for uh, Elgandr, I mean, let's go with the freaking... Yeah. True and tested method of... Hey! hey. Then that becomes doubled. The creature doesn't speak, but that impact uh, elicits a like warbled grunt of uh, pain. And that was its third action. I mean, have you seen this face? It's not really possible to like. You can normally through that. Not even a face a mother could love. Um, <laughs> I think I am going to, as funny as it was the first time around, I'm actually using a hero point to stabilize. Yay. Yay. Right. I was, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit more attached to this character than... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, you are also kind of the healing, so you going down wasn't ideal. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I am I am both tank and healer, which is a, a little bit of... <laughs> I have uh, a plan. It's mildly concerning, yes, when you get smirked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it, the plan worked. Like, you being healer let you hold out longer. But we were pra planning on the double crit, so rip. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is true. Um, where, 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 where are my minions to absorb damage for me? <laughs> what game am I playing? <laughs> All right, so you are stabilized. Yep. Uh, yeah, wounded. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm actually, I just have a problem. So just, just, just continue. I'm gonna actually uh, right. hero. Yeah, hero points. Okay. And so the creature is not that smart to uh, basically go for killing blows. Instead, it's gonna. Oh, I know I spent all my hero points. Okay, so that's that. Uh... I mean, there are more targets approaching, and let's see... I mean, as 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 amusing as it would be to try to remove face from Anders, it's like... Mm. Yeah, it's a bit busy. Mm. Yes, yes it is. Even though that's yeah. like two, 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 two action thingy. I still get the market though. Mm, guess I got that tackle opportunity. Mm. I, I appreciate mm. the booziness of it, of trying to, of considering that, but uh... <laughs> yeah, instead it's gonna... Uh, pa, 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 pa. Mm. Try to go for one more, at least get one more target done before trying to bolt from here. 
-hmm. I guess even though Kurz will move, like, I'm just gonna still consider that Kurz is like trying trying to be the uh, the bouncer in this party. Very much so. Which, yeah, it's gonna spend uh, three of its actions just swinging wildly and with powerful strikes at Kurzel. Considering the size, size difference, I would say like around his like thighs, legs, maybe hip, but... Right away? Yeah, starting with the first attack. And going with the second. Good crit. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. The Titan coming in clutch for it. <laughs> and then the third. Mm -hmm. The third one actually misses, so let's see. The crits. <laughs> that was dude, dude, low. That low. was a what the? Slash! <laughs> why are you stealing? Why, why are you stealing my dice? I'm well, in this case, dice. sabotaging our, G our GMs. No, I, look, the GM may have stolen your dice, but I ain't touching those. <laughs> yeah, that was one and a three on 2d12. Alright, that's three of its actions. And yeah, it's also taking that. Yay. On the upside, it does theoretically mean that even if it does run away, it could theoretically burn to death. <laughs> yes! In I, I, theory. I, I do just want, like, a ton of spells that have persistent damage so that I can have the possibility of doing that. I, I want that to happen one of these times. Anyways, you, sir, are being, um, restoring okay. blooded. Come back in. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're, you're fucking pouring your blood into his fucking mouth. Mm. Uh, that's nine health. That's disgusting, but I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even red, it's green. It, It is a horrifying sight for everyone. Mm -hmm. The face <laughs> of Butcher is like, man, what the fuck, you monster, why would you do this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that your turn, Patrick? Uh, uh, I think. Hold on. How much does how many? I it doesn't. Uh, I mean, at the very minimum, I would consider like restoring blood is like one action you move once. Yeah. So, you... so I've done that. At the very least, I've done two actions. Yep. Let's see. Any anything you can do with it? Hmm. I don't think I have any one action spells. So, so I think, oh. I think, sorry, just, just in regards to the restoring blood here, it, it would have been one action to move, it would have been one action to take out the restorative in this case, and then one action to interact um, ah, with. Okay. Got it. All right, yeah. Okay. Okay then. All right, yeah. yeah, I'm fine with that. Get back up. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I just lie here and hope that the fucker essentially fucks off, um, <laughs> w without harassing me? Um, Let's see how it goes. Well, time to fail a faint and a uh, Let's see how do I faint on the character? Is it deception? Uh, it's deception, yeah. You are, keep, keep in mind, now that I'm back up, we are flanking again. Yeah, I'm just wondering if you're just lying there. Um, I've got like 10 careers, but I ain't fucking deceiving shit. <laughs> I see, okay. You are back to flanking, alright. I'm okay. Let's so hope for the best. Let's try and reroll that. Flank has been included, yes. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh. Now was part of the spell strike, so that two actions, and then make let's make another attack. No, as is that doesn't matter. And that, that was closer. It's my turn. Uh. All right. So before I get to Helgander, uh, question: Sinful. Yeah. Do you wish for your character to appear? 
Uh, I might as well because I was thinking in my head that I've pretty much been watching this and my character just covered it. It's like, it's like watching children try to max up and with sticks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, we can like uh, potentially like talk about like because the thing is like for example when we switched uh, not switch but when Anders uh, came by it was basically like another member of the clan filling in for the deceased because uh, this character of yours will be like for the purpose of campaign traveling with this party. <laughs> But we can get to that. All right. So you would be. And this is the nicer of the uh, of the two <laughs> I've played so far. <laughs> yeah, by quite a wide margin. <laughs> yeah. Fucking zombie king. <laughs> Being here, the house. Would be like what's that? We'll be starting like above. <laughs> <laughs> too bad. The uh, too bad. The big brain IQ play would be to bring back uh, Havard, but as a skeleton. Uh, mm. oh. <laughs> 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 or would like any of the undead archetypes. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I hate evil champions. They're not good. So <laughs> I can't stand them. Actually. <laughs> It has, I mean, uh, fortitude now. Uh, Hellgander can try to give you invisibility. Wait, that's touch. Uh, hmm. uh no, invis it's invisibility touch. It says on that range is touch. Oh, then. Yeah, that could be a slice. To be fair, uh, as a as a ten foot reach creature, I think. Uh... Oh yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> trying to protect its investment, its minion. That's a little bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how Helgander kind of sees the party. I I know <laughs> I know. <laughs> and um, trying not to I... be. Totally distracted. I, I, I'm pretty sure Hellander would, or maybe not even say, but definitely be like, "What's this other first leg doing here?" Uh, yeah, cast invisibility. Uh, which makes Anders invisible. Invisible. And that was uh, its third action. Well, the fire candles looks fucking amazing with the inverted color scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Badass looking. Yeah. Okay, well, since invisibility doesn't end uh, when it comes to uh, offensive actions. One. Uh, to be fair, it is. Yeah. The target it's... uses a hostile action, this spell ends. Oh, after read, the read. hostile action is completed, okay. Uh, no, read the, uh, read the heightened fourth. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, right, because I just used the one that was on the sheet, so I was like, oh, it's fourth level by default. Okay, not, so. Nah, it's, it's, it's second level by default. Um, we're okay. going to do this, we're going to do this. Uh, uh, to be fair, the off guard doesn't really stack because you're already off guarding from flanking. That is true. Um, so I apply short strike to myself. Why do I not? Okay, whatever. Uh, spell effect, weapon surge. Uh, apply the uh, that. Okay, and now we pray to God. Uh, uh, I need to include this. You got it. It's a hit. <laughs> there is a lot of fucking bullshit with this type. <laughs> it's a lot of damage types. <laughs> you do be damage saving. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the 1d4 is from Emblazon Energy, which I have as, as a feat. <laughs> Alright. That's perfectly fine. Uh, that is my turn, and I hope that it doesn't realize where it got hit from. <laughs> uh, right, because it would have to spend an action to, like, seek. Yep. Although it can still try to just swipe to the back, but that's, like, flat check to basically yeah. see if it's even gonna hit you. Yeah. Uh... At this point in time, it will try to bring down Gurzol. Maybe. And if and if the third action is left for it, it will start bolting. There's too much heat coming down right now. <clears throat> well, let's see if my shield can hold out. Whew. That's the first. That's the second. Oh well, that's this is new. Okay, Burl. Damage. Damage. I'm alive, bitch. He's mm. gonna spend his last action trying to finish the job, or rather, like bring Kurzol down. Mm -hmm. he, needs, he needs to go through, and it misses. Eric. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, get the bozo. Okay. <laughs> so, beam off. That's how, how. How do you spell it? Uh, Baymoth? Yep. That's a really unfortunate nickname, I apologize in advance. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's the best bay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're on the same page. <laughs> no, we all know he just wanted to spell Behemoth and misspelled it. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's not a moth. Yeah, seeing that the fellow... I mean, we can just, unless you are not fine with that, I would say that for simplicity's sake, that you have at least passing acquaintance with each other. Because there's like, we, I think we've stated that there are not that many Frost Drakes at all, in general. Mm. So, the party, like, m might, like, recognize you, and you probably heard about their exploits in the recent past. So for the rest of the party, you see that apparently even more reinforcements have arrived. Alright. So let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I can actually get behind uh, Joyce's character for all that, because... Let's see... Wait. Right. Hit. For simplicity's sake, the rooftops are on all of these buildings are at the same elevation, so like, if you want to be on the rooftop of the building, it's like 15 feet up, so what you are currently at. Alright, so I was trying to get behind them, but I'm having trouble actually... Oh, wait, uh, I don't know if it's taking a really long time to move. He do be shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like lagging a little bit on your end? Yeah, you know, let me try refreshing because all the pages I had open earlier. Yeah, I found you can eat into resources a little bit. Yeah, because I had like a lot of pages open looking through different things while I was doing the sheet. Oh, thank God, Archives now has all the remastered stuff on it. Fucking finally. Source of actually. <laughs> Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking that, um, man, it's already like 7 p.m. I have to go to work tomorrow. Otherwise, no, I don't because I took a week off. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, here we are. Which I would be playing, which I would be using to play Dragon's Dogma 2, but uh, the game doesn't entirely work. <laughs> ah, yeah. oof. Oof. Performance issues. <laughs> yeah. Oof. And don't forget the microtransactions. They are completely worthless. <laughs> As in, they right. affect nothing in the game. I've had this argument too many times. Uh, Trevor, what is... What is your character? Oh, you are Rostral. I couldn't remember. <laughs> uh, we, we, we we brought our, our, along our token Rostral. <laughs> I think this actually works or not. Come up here. I imagine that Corridor's like in heads. You're gonna be thinking differently when I'm becoming the Chief of Thralls. <laughs> the King of this realm. Oh shit, healer's gloves. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shit, we have even more healing. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Oh shit. <laughs> It's like, do you jam your stupid troll? <laughs> it is it's boring watching you from afar. <laughs> oh, it's just like, <laughs> I'd have your head for this insult if you weren't so needed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's you be pretty much. That's me. All right. A a trick. Yep. Okay. Um. Does it look like they're about to uh start running, or are we? I mean, they the... they're definitely like not even trying to hide it, even though they have. Wait, they don't have. I mean, they have pretty high deception. Uh, but it's clear it's clear to you from like you are also like, yeah, intent wisdom high, so it's clear from their like body language and choice of targets that they wanted to get Kurzol down like knock them out because Kurzol is like a bouncer keeping them from going into this alleyway and then disappearing you know between the dark corners and whatnot mm -hmm. uh i mm. as a matter have... this creature is a dangerous combatant uh, it's definitely yeah. like a predator, not like an... It doesn't like to fight in open fields. And against many targets, too. Right. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably try to do that. I just might hit someone with it. Uh, this is what I'm thinking of, by the way. Because I can use it to uh, do roots for to try and make it fall prone. Well, uh, you can always try. Uh, why not? You know, they, they have pretty high saving throws, but there's yeah. still a chance of failure. Uh, I, I could... Alright. Roots. So probably I wanted to go for... Uh, place five foot first. The roots. Yeah, I imagine you can do it on... I guess, uh, uh, a, fi a five foot burst would be. Yeah. Uh, a five foot burst would be that. <laughs> yep. Take that. Which so is go going to hit friendlies. Yeah, no matter how you try to spin it, it's gonna hit friendlies. Yep. I believe in Corgo. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of my issue at the moment of, uh, yeah, I can't exactly help with some of my spells, because, you know. I mean, Helgander so... had Firebolt, so... <laughs> save, save. So much AoE. 
<laughs> I mean, technically, it still has fireball because it has like one third rank level left. All right. I, I guess. All right. Ah, uh, dang it! Yeah. It was okay. close. It was close though, and Corzo, you also yeah. sadly you need to roll reflex. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> um. oh okay which uh roots yeah yeah which 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 plant have you chosen <laughs> roots i chose roots, oh, roots. uh bludgeoning oh. damage and effective recruits for chrono crit i mean okay it's, it's 2d4 bludgeoning yeah. damage all the damage yeah and thankfully nobody falls prone huh Yep. So it's gonna be half for this fella. Oh, right, because it's. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, bludgeoning. Alright, yeah. So it's fine on that mm. front. Okay. Yeah. It was an attempt. Um, and with that, we used me with two points action left. So, I mean, one point action left, so. Okay, I'll just move this guy in. The uh, the pet when I command it gets two actions, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'll have it use both to go there. Really box them in. And that would be my turn. <clears throat> All right. Might as well. Just that's work. I'd use this as a comfort. Sorry, I gotta check something quick. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure conflict spells reset my spell strike. They do! Okay. Then I'm gonna cast Sure Strike. Yeah, uh, keep in mind, the Conflux spells are the focus spells. Specifically. Yeah. Um, so there's no way of like putting this in a good way. Mm. Yes. Well, yeah, remember the mirror, mirror Image and I think Sure Strike in this case, from what I'm seeing here, would be in your second rank because they're your studious spells as opposed to conflux stuff. Yes, but if I put them in my second rank, I'll have them in a third and fourth rank as well, cluttering up the UI. Um... Uh, uh, wait, what? Uh... Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be what, sorry? If you look at my spells on my sheet... Yeah. Blazing Dive is on third and fourth rank, mm -hmm. as I can cast it from both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you just you just put. I mean, you just go for you just put in two out of two on the second rank for your studious thing. Uh, yes, but let me show you what happened at least last time. Uh -huh. that, let's add. Let's add again. As I'm not entirely too sure why Blaze. Yeah, I'm not entirely too sure why it mm -hmm. is replicating in the case of Blaze and Diamond Crashing Wave. Mm -hmm. But for example, if I add Flame Wisp, not as Flame Wisp on every single tier. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? It, what in the fuck is going on there? I think, it's because, I, I think it's because I did the flexible casting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be why, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that would be why. I can actually shuffle things around, but it also just like completely su uh, sucks when you're trying to cast low level spells. Well, yeah, that's because yeah, it's because flexible casting is something entirely different, which is also mm. not how Magus works. No, so. but there's the archetype, well, not archetype. There's like the uh, feature that gives you it in exchange for cantrips. Yeah. Okay. And that's the one yeah. I took. 
Oh, okay, that'll be why then, yeah. Mm-hmm. Though, plus, this is kind of an awful way of, like, do, doing it. Anyway, no, anyway. Anyway, I cast it, but I'm not sure how exactly I can. Second rank, let's just... Alright, just go survive. I'll go get you back up a little bit. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, yeah. uh, I, I, will, I will play my trap card I have, please. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I think we I think we've, we're we're getting to the point of being able to hopefully be uh, be fine. Yeah, no. Anyway, I'm just like struggling. I'm just fighting this thing right now. But anyway, I've drew strikes. So I'll just roll twice and we'll see how it goes. Uh -huh. First and foremost, I'm gonna cast uh, intimidate. But I'm not sure if there's a good way of doing that. As a the the moralize action, you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah. That doesn't. That's not high enough. Uh, but that does give me back my spell strike. And... Yeah, I think that this is like what ten plus its will bonus modifier. modifier. Yeah, modifier. yeah, that that wouldn't be enough. Yep. All right, let's try and reroll that. That was almost a critical miss. Yep. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, a, that's a good hit. <laughs> Actually a hit. Well, it takes 10 damage plus the piercing. Oh, I see. Correct. Damage. Plus the 16 from the gouging clone, so 25, 26 damage total. And then more persistent damage. <laughs> Let's go. And that's my turn. That's it. No, I can actually make one more attack. No, yeah, I, think uh, yeah, 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 go, go for it. I, I thought you. I don't actually think it can hit, but might as well try for not twenty. I mean, <laughs> you say it, you say it, and then you got it. I think I needed a twenty to hit, so hell yeah. I mean, yeah, without flanking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Now nice. Now that creature is really hurting. Um, sadly, Helgander no longer has any more magnetic accelerations. No, wait, that's fourth rank. He still has uh, one third, la third rank. Oh, yeah. Why not? Just... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just looking at Helgander's spell list. Holy shit, uh, that's, a, that's a lot of shield strikes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> that combo works for Rhys, so it's like... <laughs> <clears throat> Why not? No. Not a crit, but still... Damage is damage. And that was like very... Holy oh shit, that's a good damage roll. What? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of sixes. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh wait! I, I, was, I was I was clicking Goodbye, the wrong. Alexander will miss you. I was I was, I was clicking the wrong uh, token. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and suddenly, the creature which was looking so hot just a few several seconds ago is now no more looking so good. Because it greatly tried to. Uh, Try to get something more. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I am invisible and go to stand up. Uh, uh, -huh. uh as an action. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then, because uh, your boy's also got short strike. <laughs> uh, let's try and. Finish this fucking thing off. Uh, divine weapon because I use a, a spell for my spell slots. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck. Sadly, through strike. Oh, that is that the is trace. gusting. Yeah, that is. Uh, that's my turn. All right. That is tragic. <laughs> okay. It needs. At least. Tries to 
Get the fuck away and it needs to get Kurzel at the very least. The pet tries to help, but it's Kurzel that's the main obstacle, so the attacks. Roll away to see what you get. And that's a crit. Mm. Oh, crit. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's a big hit. Alright. Kurzel is quite down. Mm -hmm. You would be dying too. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the initiative gets moved so that you're in front of the faceless butcher. Alright, I'm gonna change it. Kurzel. <clears throat> Alright. What is. Yeah? So, what, what does that put you negative wise, Julius? I'm at zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the, in the system, you don't really go into like negative. You don't go in. You don't go okay. in. <laughs> Alright, good. You're gonna. <laughs> You're going to come back a little bit, but you're not going to come back all that much. All right. Uh, and with its remaining actions. Yeah. But perhaps provoking. I'm not sure if Anders has. Uh, I, of I wish I had a tax of our present war priest, believe me. <laughs> it was either this or champion again. <sighs> yeah, it would be. Trying to get the fuck away. How fast is it running out of curiosity? With this, you will realize it has 25 movement speed. But the problem okay. is, you are in urban environment. And but... we might be getting into... Uh, Unless, unless it fails its recovery checks and it's gonna very quickly die from permanent damage. <laughs> I mean, persistent damage, so... Please, please! Please, the love of I God. I need this. Okay. Uh, okay, seven. Yeah, so that's damage. That's damage. <laughs> it's barely fucking alive. It's single digits. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, that's a fail. That's good. Oh my god, I think both failed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we ain't gonna do... I mean, uh... Bay, if you want to give a shot of trying to get the creature, you can, but I'm just gonna say, you, you go into pursuit after it, and then, like, going around, like, the, the closest corner, you just find its uh, badly Stay injured, down. bleeding body laying on the ground, like, fallen mid-step. <laughs> yes! Um, <laughs> either, either way, I was like, okay, it's finally away. Fire the fireball! <laughs> Please don't do that in an urban environment. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> nah, I have a different spell that's not as wide range, only 10 foot. <laughs> but, uh, for one, I will get. First, I will get, uh, what's the name? Julius up because I have. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, Where so just for posterity's sake, uh, it's not fire from Persistent that kills it, because after that one, it still had one hit point left, it's Bleed that finally finishes, finishes it off. This is why okay. Gaussian Claw is the best cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Like, unironically, right. it is the best Persistent cantrip. Persistent damage kill, let's go! Alright, you get... You get this joyous one, and... I don't have to roll. Because... Oh. Where's that? I has that. Nice. <laughs> so you get 24, uh, 24 health. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, you, st you, you, still, you still need to roll the healing. You can uh, choose a result of 10 plus proficiency bonus? Yep. Yeah, that, that's for the d20 roll, not the actual health roll. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, roll the, die, the health, okay. So... Yeah. Uh, let's see... Let's see. Our... It's uh, it's two d eight. If you're, if it's gonna be at the, what what uh, what is your medicine proficiency? Uh, at currently it is plus fourteen. Uh, no, as in the proficiency, this actual um untrained trained. Oh, expert. trained. Uh, then it's two d eight. Right. 
the plus 14 isn't quite enough to guarantee a, uh, a crit success. Right, then, so take 16 health then. <laughs> I take 16 health damage. <laughs> okay. Well, I think with <laughs> yeah, God, what a nightmare! I'm pretty, sure I... I'm pretty sure I can stack restoring blood onto that as well. Yeah, sadly, I could not use my one spell I wanted to use because I actually oh. had to. <laughs> I had to add it manually because for some reason it is not in the in the system. 